Hello tech and science fans. Welcome to my channel, a channel crafted for science and technology discovery and transfer to Africa, a channel for closing technology gaps in Africa. Ever wondered about the difference between weather and climate? They sound similar, but trust me, there's a big difference. It's like comparing a single slice of pizza to the whole pie. One tells you about this very moment, the other about the bigger picture. Understanding the difference is super important, especially with all the talk about climate change these days. It's like knowing the difference between a drizzle and a downpour when you're deciding whether to grab an umbrella or stay inside. So, let's break it down, shall we? We'll explore weather, climate, and how they're connected. Get ready to become a weather and climate whiz. Get ready for some fun facts and cool comparisons. Let's go. Weather is what's happening outside your window at this very moment. Is it sunny, rainy, windy? That's the weather reporting for duty. Is the short-term changes in the atmosphere? Think minutes, hours, or days. Weather is a fickle friend. It can change in the blink of an eye. One minute you're basking in the sun, the next you're running for cover from a sudden downpour. That's weather keeping you on your toes. We use thermometers to measure temperature, barometers for air pressure, and anemometers for wind speed. These instruments help meteorologists track and predict the weather. Pretty cool, right? So next time you step outside, take a moment to observe the weather. It's a dynamic, ever-changing show put on by nature. Now let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. Climate. Climate is the average weather in a specific region. Over a long period, usually 30 years or more, it's like looking at the entire pizza, not just one slice. Climate tells us about the long-term patterns and trends of weather in a particular place. Is it generally hot and humid? Cold and snowy? Climate takes the stage to answer these questions. We use historical weather data, like temperature and precipitation records, to understand climate. Scientists analyze this data to identify patterns and trends over decades, centuries, and even millennia. Talk about a long-term forecast. Climate helps us understand the typical weather conditions we can expect in a specific region. It's the foundation for our understanding of ecosystems, agriculture, and even our culture. A fashionable analogy for climate and weather. Still a little fuzzy on the difference. Think of it like your wardrobe. Weather is like choosing your outfit for the day. You check the forecast and decide shorts and a t-shirt for a sunny day, or a raincoat and boots for a rainy one. Climate, on the other hand, is like your entire wardrobe. It reflects the typical weather conditions of where you live. If you live in a tropical climate, your wardrobe is probably full of light, airy clothes. But if you live in a polar climate, you'll have a lot more parkas and scarves. Just like you wouldn't wear a swimsuit to the Arctic, you wouldn't expect the desert to suddenly transform into a rainforest. Climate sets the stage and weather performs the act. What about seasons? Climate's catwalk show. Speaking of climate, let's talk about seasons. Seasons are a great example of how climate plays out over a year. They're like the different acts in a play, each with its unique characteristics. Remember, climate is the long-term average weather and seasons are a natural part of that long-term pattern. They're caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis as it orbits the Sun. This tilt means different parts of the Earth receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year, leading to the changes we experience as seasons. So, whether you're enjoying a sunny summer day or bundled up for a snowy winter wonderland, remember that you're experiencing the magic of climate in action. It's like Earth's own fashion show. 
with each season showcasing its unique style. Climate change, a global wardrobe malfunction. Now you might have heard about climate change. It's a big deal and it's directly related to our climate. Imagine someone messing with your thermostat, making your house too hot or too cold. That's kind of what's happening with climate change, but on a much larger scale. Human activities, like burning fossil fuels, are releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases trap heat and cause Earth's average temperature to rise. This warming effect is messing with Earth's climate system, leading to changes in weather patterns, sea levels and more. It's like someone spilled a giant can of soda on your wardrobe, causing everything to shrink, stretch or change color. Climate change is disrupting the balance of our planet systems. And it's crucial that we understand the science and take action to address it. Weather versus climate. Wrapping it up. So there you have it, the difference between weather and climate. Weather is your mood. Climate is your personality. Weather is what you get. Climate is what you expect. Understanding the difference is more critical than ever. As we face the, the challenges of, of climate change. By understanding weather and climate, we can make informed decisions about how to protect our planet and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Remember, knowledge is power, and together we can make a difference. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the amazing world of science. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Bye bye for now, and see you soon for another video.